Okay, on the next slide, I'd like you to go to GeoGebra, and we're going to look at slicing of cones, rectangular pyramids, triangular pyramids, triangular prisms, rectangular prisms, spheres, and cylinders. You don't need to worry about the, the last one on the bottom. And we're going to be uh, focusing on horizontal slicing and vertical slices. Okay, I'm just going to kind of give you a rundown and let you play with this on your own. Uh, we're mainly going to focus on rotate one for the most part. Uh, when you work with the pyramids, I like you to kind of play with rotate two at the same time. Okay, but let's just uh, do cones together. Okay, if you uh, have this first bar on the left, you can see this is the horizontal slice of a cone. Can you see that that is a circle? Okay, it's been sliced in the shape of a circle. If I move this bar to the right, it will show me the vertical slice, okay, which is a triangle. Okay, so a cone has a horizontal slice, a circle, and a vertical slice, a triangle. Uh, let's look at a pyramid for a minute. Horizontal slice. Okay, it's a rectangular pyramid, which means the base is a rectangle. Notice that the horizontal slice is also a rectangle. Okay. If you move the rotate one vertically to the vertical side, you could have it right there to be a trapezoid. Okay, can you tell that that's a trapezoid? But with the pyramids, you can actually get a second shape. If you take the rotate two and you move it so that it crosses through the vertex. Okay, so if I make it uh, cross the vertex, the vertical slice is a triangle. Okay, so it, the vertical slice could be a triangle if it crosses the vertex. Otherwise, it could be a trapezoid. Uh, the horizontal slice will always be, if it's straight horizontal, it will always be the same as the base. It'll be a rectangle. Okay, but play around with these. I have some uh, quiz questions, but you can keep going back and forth to this and just play around with it to, to get used to what the slices would be.